Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this Spanish style chandelier earrings with brick stitch. If you're not familiar with the brick stitch don't worry because I'm showing them really slowly and step by step and I'm sure even if you're a beginner you will be able to make them. I also provide a free pattern. Also you could do this with Delica beads and here I'm showing them with Toho beads. Consider subscribing with the bell, liking and sharing this video. In this way, you motivate me to make more and more tutorials. And don't forget that now, if you become a member of this channel, you will get the course Five Unexpected Designs with Peyote Stitch. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay, guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 0 Toho beads. They are white, turquoise, red, and black. And here I'm using earring findings in black color as well. This is monofilament that is 0.006 inches, so 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. You could check description for full list of materials, Facebook page to share pictures of your creations that you did following me, link for PayPal donations, and as I mentioned in the beginning, there is a course accessible only for members. And if you get, become a member of this channel, you will get access to it. And the name is Five Unexpected Designs that you could do with Peyote Stitch. So this is what you get if you decide to become a member for less than $5. Okay, let's continue. This is monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle. I also provide here a free pattern that you will also see here at this corner and scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm going to start my work with the familiar brick stitch. I will use this pattern here to do this. First I'm going to start with two black beads, then uh, I will continue with three beads, black, red and black. And meanwhile I will add this one at the top. Okay, let me show you how I do this. First I take two black beads, okay, I slide those down and as I'm exiting through one of them, I'm going through the other one. Okay. Then what I want to do is go one more time through them. Here, take one black bead and add it here. Exiting through one of my black beads and going through the other one. Okay. Now I have this, my beads stay next to each other. Now I'm going to flip my work in this direction because it's easier for me to work like this. So my thread is exiting out of this bead here. Okay, you see where it is. Exiting out of this bead. And I'm going to take a black and a red. Okay, here it is and I go under this thread bridge. You see, my beads are situated with the holes pointing in this direction and there is a thread bridge between them. So I go under this thread bridge by adding two beads. Okay. I arrange them a little bit, okay. And then I go through the one that is closer to the center, in this case, through the red one. Now I have this. Then I'm going to take, according to my pattern, the black one here. Okay. I'm going like this. And then I go... Uh, I went under the same thread bridge here. It is only one, so it is the only place I could go through. And I'm adding one more black bead and I go through it. And if you're not familiar, this is called break stitch, okay? Now I prefer to flip because it's easier for me. 
and my pattern allows to flip because it's all the same from this side and from this side if your pattern is different from both sizes you won't be able to flip now it comes the next row which consists of black two reds and a black and i'm going to start with a black and a red okay i take them and here i have two thread bridges already and i'm going through the first one in this tutorial i will be showing only expanding brick stitch it means that uh, every row is larger with one bead compared to the previous row so expanding or increasing brick stitch okay and i have a black and a red and as i said i need one more red and one more black i'm adding them one by one first the red i go under this thread bridge here then again through the bead under the thread bridge and through the bead and then i add one more black bead here okay this is what i have in this row four beads and i will continue in the same manner just i will consult with my pattern it's obvious that in the next row i need to have five beads and i start with a black and a red and then i need turquoise a red and a black so i start with a black and a red and because i increase i go under the first thread bridge in this tutorial i will be going all the time under the first thread bridge and if your beads flip like this just turn them in the right direction the red should be to the inner side and go through the red now you have this then you need one turquoise bead go under this needle thread bridge and backwards through through it then i need a red one go under the following thread bridge go through the bead itself and i need to add one more black bead i'm taking it and i'm going under the same thread bridge that i've just been through with the red one you see and i pull then i go like this and i go under this black uh, through this black bead here okay and i have this now i'm going to flip and here i my pattern says that i always start with a black and a red and finish with a red and a black and the difference is what comes in the middle in this case two turquoise beads okay and i'm going to show you faster this row because i'm sure you already if you have done this up to here you already know what to do okay you add first a black and a red then go through the one which is closer to the center which is red and continue one by one then guys it is the same thing and i will show you faster also the next row okay and i take a black and a red go under this thread bridge here and always consult with the pattern here i need turquoise white and turquoise 
and I'm going to add them faster one by one. And I always finish with a red and a black. Okay, then I flip. Now guys, I'm going to show you one more time and I'll let you do this the other rows by yourself because I'm sure you're going to be able to do this. Okay, black, red, turquoise, two whites, turquoise, red and black. Just watch me do it. Okay, and I have this and now I'm flipping and now guys continue with this row which has one black in the center then two blacks in the center then this and I will be back for the last row just pause on this video and add the, those rows from here to here and I'll be back and I decided to show you my progress row by row this is this row and I will show you in a while the following and I'm ready with the next row. Pause and do this. I'm going for the next one. Okay, and this is uh, the next row and now I will be making here the last row and after it I will be back. Okay guys, and with this my pattern is finished okay you see and now i'm going for the middle part which is in fact the chandelier part you see i'm going to show you how to turn this one into this one okay so i will start from the center of my work and in order to do this i will zigzag through my beads to reach the center Okay, now I'm exiting through one of the red beads in the center and I will do this chandelier effect. I'm taking three red beads and I go here through the neighbor red bead. Okay, I have a loop here between my beads as you may see and when I pull I have this. Okay. Then I'm going in the black and I will tell you the numbers which work for my particular lot of beads here with um, Toho. Now here I will add seven black beads. If you work with different brand, maybe you will need to add one more or one less. It's up to you. Okay, so... I'm going in the black, exiting out of the black, I'm going in the black, it's really easy. And the idea is that when I pull it goes around nicely surrounding the reds. It should be enough to surround it nicely without being too short or too big for the 
the previous loop, okay? Then what I need is to add white beads. And the whites I'm going to add here are 11. Again, as I told you, maybe you will need to add one more or one less. Nine plus two, it's 11, okay? And as I'm exiting through one of the whites, I'm going through the other one here. It surrounds the black nicely, okay? Then what I do is that I go through this turquoise like this. And I'm going to add 17 turquoise. Okay, I'm adding 17. Five times three, it's 15 plus two, it's 17. Always double check the number. Okay, now I'm sliding those down. And then I'm going through this turquoise. If it flips, help it. Okay, so now I have this. Then I'm going through the red here. And for the red part, I'm going to go with 21. Okay, and here I have my 21. Okay, I'm going here through this red. Okay, like this. Then I go through the black. And here, guys, I will be adding 25 blacks. Okay, and I have my 25 black beads here on my needle. And I'm going to slide those down like this. And this is the last row from this chandelier part that I'm going to be doing. Okay. Now, this chandelier part is ready. And uh, what I want to do is add my earring finding. That is why I'm going here in this direction. And I will go through this one here at the top. Now, um, for the tail thread, you could put your needle here on it, zigzag through the beads and cut it. Uh, if you want, you could cut it straight, but if you're worried that there will be a problem, you could definitely do this. Okay, I'll leave it for now like this until I'm showing you the earring finding attachment. Okay, I'm taking two beads. Then I will take the earring finding and two more seed beads. Okay, and I have this. And as I'm exiting through this bead at the top, I'm going back through it like this. Then what I want to do is make an additional reinforcement by going around through those beads here. Through all the four of them plus the earring finding. Okay. And now go through the first of those red beads and add just 
one black bead and go here then go through one more red bead in this direction take just one black and go here okay so now this is what i do and i will go through some beads and in this direction and i want to make a knot and cut my thread okay how i make my knot i make a loop here and i go once and I go second time through this loop I've made and then I pull and you could repeat this knot several times and then uh, go through some of the beads in this direction and then cut your thread and now you could move your needle on your tail thread and repeat these same steps there okay see you in a while okay guys and now my spanish style chandelier earrings with toho beads are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't you also help me so much by liking sharing and commenting this content thank you so much for this and don't forget that if you now become a member you will get the course five unexpected designs you could do with peyote stitch Thank you so much and bye-bye from me.